Hi guys, in today's video we're going to learn how to clay farm. I'm going to tell you why it's good to do, I'm going to show you how it's easy to do, and that's pretty much it. Let's get into it. So what is clay farming? Clay farming is a method created by Piano Addict, and essentially what it is, is you're finding tillable soil in the ground to manipulate into spewing forth amazing clay. And you're probably wondering, why clay? Well, it turns out clay is very lucrative, especially in the early stages of Stardew. Each clay is valued at a whopping 20 gold. And you're probably wondering, that doesn't, that's not very much. Well, you're right, it's not. However, if you are able to get anywhere between like three, 400, 500 clay in a day, I mean, you're talking like 6,000 or above gold, depending on how fast you can do this method. So early game, it's a game changer. Let's go over some pros and cons really quick. In the pros column, we have very consistent. It's the best way to make money in the early game. It doesn't require any skills such as a high level of uh, mining, fishing, combat, foraging, farming, any of them. It's accessible from day one and it's not really that hard to do. I mean, I do it pretty, pretty well. Some of the cons, it can be pretty intimidating at first. It took me like three tries to learn it, and that was with the help of Piano Addict trying his best to explain it to me. I'm like a wall, poor guy. Crypto tried helping me as well, Crypto Green. And finally, it's freaking Ethan. Literally set me aside to visually show me how to do it in game, and that's finally when it clicked and I learned how to do it. It can be really punishing to learn, especially at first, again, it's really intimidating. And it's very easy to mess up doing this because you have to, well, count a little bit. Some basic arithmetic, not too bad though. So instead of me talking, let me show you guys how to clay farm. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure you have a hoe and a pickaxe. After you have those from starting the game, you're gonna wanna go into your option settings and make sure to have always show tool hit location checked on. It's very important. Uh, you need this to help you count uh, tiles. So after getting those, you're gonna wanna mosey on over to the beach. And if you see any forageables on the way, that's fine. You can eat them at your leisure. I'm not gonna grab them, but you could if you wanted. Once you finally get to the beach, we can start clay farming. So really important, you're gonna wanna find a spot to start clay farming. I'm choosing this spot right here because this is where I learned to do it. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hoe the ground repeatedly and then pickaxe to remove the hoed spot and do this until you find initial clay. So we're gonna do this until we find our clay. But once you find it, nice, cool. We found our initial clay. So I use a mnemonic that's a mnemonic that's very confusing to a lot of people, I feel like. It works for me, so I'll try and show you or teach you. I use something called 646411. It's confusing to hear, but it's a good thing for me to uh, remember. So we're gonna go on the very first 64 part. Once you find the initial clay, which we did, you're gonna want to act uh, like we're the knight in chess. Clay moves in an L-like pattern. So we found the initial spot, which what we're gonna do is move like the horse in chess. So one, two, three, and then you hit the ground. Boom, another piece of clay. And then again, like the horse, one up, two to the right, another piece of clay. And then you repeat this pattern until you do six tiles. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Nice, that's six, perfect. So after six, we're gonna do the four part. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna line up with the, the six tilled spot on the ground, and then you move all the way over here to the left and line it up with the initial spot, the initial impact of clay farming, and hit the ground. Nice, and then you go up one, two to the right, very similar to the ones at the bottom, and repeat this two more times for a total of four. Nice, we did the first spot, uh, or the first section of the six four, six four one one. So let's do the six four, six four. So you come back after doing your 10 tills, and you'll start again, but one tile above the initial starting spot. 
Whoa, we found a piece of clay. Let's follow it out. One, two, three. 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 Nice. That was that six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It was. So, just like the one we did at the bottom, let's line up the clay uh, spot, the tiles. So we'll line it up, and we've run into an issue. We can't till this spot. Well, good thing we have a solution for this. What we can do, well, there's other solutions, but what I do, if there's an untillable spot, like right here, you can just hit the ground anywhere else that's tillable, ideally off to the side if you're gonna do this. This is a lazy man strap, by the way. You don't get clay for this, I just do it because I'm lazy. Um, you hit the ground, and now you skip this tilled spot, acting like you hit the ground to move it, and it should be active here. Here's gonna be clay. Because every time you hit the ground with your hoe, it moves the clay, whether you get clay or not, in that uh, that night fashion. One up, and then two to the right. Even if you don't get clay, it'll still move it. So we got clay here, let's follow the pattern. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice, perfect. So we did the six, four, six, four. Now we have to do the one, one. So, what you do is you come down here to the second spot you, you tilled at, right? Not the first, the second. Well, this part's kind of confusing. So this is where we started at. You go to the second tilled spot, and now you do the one one part. One to the right, and then one down, right here. This is your new starting spot. So we hit the ground. And then we start the pattern all over again. One, two, three. 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 Nice. That's six spots again. So again, go to the initial spot or the uh, the sixth spot. Line it up. Hit the ground. And now we're on the four part. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oops. And then the second six, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four. Nice. And then you come down here and then you repeat it over and over and over. And if you do this right, then you can get hundreds and hundreds of clay, which you can sell for thousands and thousands of in-game currency. Gold. I don't know why I just said that. I could have just said gold. So after doing all of that, uh, playing on the beach, we're actually going to do it again, but in a different area in case a specific situation occurs when you're doing this. It's kind of weird for me to explain without showing it because I can't explain it very well. So let's try clay farming again. But this time, let's move to the right of the tile we started at last time. Just one tile to the right. We start the whole thing all over again. One, two, three. Uh-oh. Perfect. I was ex I was hoping ex for this to happen. So sometimes when you're clay farming, you'll actually not hit clay. Believe it or not, that's normal. I don't actually know what dictates when clay is going to be at a specific tile or not, but sometimes uh, I feel like it's seed based. You just get an unlucky seed. Don't let this stop you. Continue the pattern. So we're at the fourth hit. We need two more to get to the six. So let's do one, two, three. Still doesn't seem like it's working, right? Well, it is. It's just not giving us any clay. Let's just finish out the pattern. One, two, three. That's our six. We need four to make 10. Uh, let's line it up. Bam, wow, weird how we did the initial six, but only got four clay uh, of the seven hits we did. It happens sometimes. Uh, just keep continuing on with the pattern. You get unlucky, it happens. So using what we learned, let's go ahead and try and make or find as much clay as we can to see how much money we can get off of one energy bar using no food. And the more 
experience you have with this, the faster you can go and the more money you can make. You are a little limited based off of your energy. However, you can sell the clay, which we will do at the end here, directly to Robin. Uh, so we get the money back the same day and we can actually buy ourselves some salads if we wanted to continue clay farming. Remember, this is day one of spring. Uh, which makes this even more impressive because we can end the day with over 2,000 gold. So now we have too low of energy to continue. That's okay. We have 87 clay ready to be sold. It is only 10.20 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Excuse me. So couple hours on the beach not too bad and remember each clay is worth 20 gold right so again using the strategies taught to me by it's freaking ethan and using piano addicts method we we're able to conjure 87 clay right at 20 gold each well i'm too lazy to do the math let's go find out how much money we get for it go interact with robin hey robin wow 1700 gold day one that's crazy and you can do this as much as you want, right? So you sell the clay, bam, now you have two grand. Isn't that nuts? That's crazy, dude. Spring one, and we have 2,000 gold. You have enough for the backpack. You have enough for uh, coffee. You have enough for salads. Like, you can't even fish till day two. This is so superior. Yeah, clay farming is great. That's going to do it for the video. Thanks so much for uh, watching, guys. With the power of clay farming, you can make insane amounts of money. All you need is some patience, willingness to learn, and uh, the drive to play in sand. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. And feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell me if I'm doing it wrong, whatever. Until next time, have a good one.